Hello today, people. We're playing Silent Hill. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, this is back when they used to put those warnings before games. Uh, this game may contain graphic and violent images. They don't really do that anymore. They just put it on the back of the box. That's what the ESRV is for. Uh, this game came out in 1999. I played it uh, when it first came out, like with most games. It was later turned into a movie, which didn't, you know, get a whole lot of press and stuff. I actually like the movie somewhat. I mean, it takes a lot of stuff directly from the video game, which, you know, that doesn't really happen in Resident Evil, the Resident Evil movies, because the Resident Evil and... Actually, the Resident Evil movie is pretty much like the only video game movie that's, you know, still out there. Of course, that game's like based on absolutely nothing in the Resident Evil universe, so... Other than the fact that there's a virus that breaks out, but... Back to this game. Uh, there is a Silent Hill movie, new Silent Hill movie coming out uh, on the 26th, I believe. Uh, Silent Hill Revelations or something like that. Some stupid fucking subtitle. Now, uh, you, the difference between the movie and the games, obviously. In the movie, it's a girl, and the, the game, it's a guy. So, it's, to begin, this game's actually pretty confusing. You're not exactly sure where in the hell you're supposed to go, and you don't have a map, so you pretty much just have to walk forward and hope you trigger a cutscene. It doesn't take very long for you to trigger a cutscene. Now, I'm playing this on the PS. So I got upscaling and smoothing on. So the uh, old game actually looks a little bit worse than this. But is that Cheryl? <laughs> and the voice acting is pretty bad, by the way. Like all older games. Where are you going? Like all, actually, most PlayStation games hey, have bad Stop. voice acting. With a few exceptions of the one people that actually put money into voice actors. <laughs> they didn't hire people that worked in uh, temp service to come in and read lines for a game. Uh, this game was pretty scary when it first came out. I mean, it was, it was scarier than uh, Resident Evil that came out a year before this game did. Or actually, can't I think it came out a little uh, over a little over yeah a little over a year before this one did. Now that scene where he's walking down the uh, alleyway right there, that's actually directly copied in the movie. This hallway coming up is also directly copied into the movie. I'm not saying it's a good movie because it's not really all that good. I mean, it has Pyramid Head in it. Pyramid didn't, head didn't appear until uh, Silent Hill 2. But, again, it's a decent movie. But there's just some really crud questions and stuff. And here... I actually like what they did in the movie uh, the change from the darkness to the uh, light to the darkness that they don't do in this game. The siren sound that it makes is really, really... You're like, oh, fuck. In this game, it just suddenly gets darker and uh, the surroundings actually change a bit. Everything gets rusty and all that, which is also in the movie. I think the Silent Hill movie actually kept more from from the video game than the Resident Evil movie that did. It's really disorienting camera angle. Right here. 
here too, especially when you're trying to. This? this guy was in the movie too. What's going on here? When you're trying to run from these little midgets that are also in the movie. Of course, uh, you're supposed to get killed right here, but I try to run away anyway. It's just basically a maze of fencing. And when you die here, you wake up in the diner. I actually don't remember that part where you have to die at the beginning. I completely forgot about it. So. I thought I was dead and I thought I was going to have to start this video over again. Wait, well, thankfully I didn't. It's Chris Redfield. Actually, he kind of looks like Wesker. And uh, cop comes up and crosses her arms at you and doesn't say anything. That's always was I dreaming? Intimidating. How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. Like I've been overrun by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Now coming up, I actually have to turn the I have to turn the uh, audio down because the audio is actually glitched on the PS3. Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. For some reason. I think the emotion engine that the older PS3 has don't uh, emulate the sound quite right because when you go to fire a firearm, uh, there's a loud buzzing sound. It's very annoying, so I suddenly t turn down the uh, sound. Have you seen a little girl? I just turned seven last. So that'll happen here in a minute. Black hair. My daughter. As soon as we get past this cutscene, the only person I've seen in this town that is you. Big flying thing comes in through the window. I they do a lot of subtle, bright stuff. It's not the in-your-face dogs tell, jumping through the window, scary stuff that happens. It's actually a uh, subtle stuff mm. like the radio like you having a radio on What's you and name? it'll start making static noise when uh Harry. enemies are getting close. Harry Mason. Not to mention the fog. Sybil Bennett. <laughs> the fog that's outside the next town over. uh keeps you from being able to see very far. But also Sybil I'm going back to call in some that's what her name is in the movie and Abrams is again in the mm. neighboring town. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. And, I've got to find her. Uh, this actually did come out, no yeah, way. shortly after Resident Evil, but Resident Evil had uh pre-rendered backgrounds. This one actually had 3D background, which my little girl. was 3D, just which made it uh, by herself? a little bit more. Have you got a gun? I would guess advanced and uh. Resident Evil. Take this and hope you and Sybil this. gives up her gun. Hey. Now listen to me. Now ammunition in this game is very, very you limited, so a lot of enemies you're better off running from than you killing them. It unless you have to. Especially the ones outside. Don't go blasting me that ain't in the safe. buildings that you all the various buildings that you go into. You always want to run. Yeah. If Thanks. you do have to take something down, you want to make sure you shoot it until it falls down, and you have to, to stomp it. <laughs> make sure it stays dead. If you don't stomp it and you walk off and you come back, it's gonna be alive again. Well, there's a lot of useful items here in the diner right when you start off. I have it on normal difficulty, so... Yeah, that residential map's like only like a small part of the game. Well, I wouldn't say small part, I'd probably say about one-fourth of the game is spent in the residential district. There's other districts that you go to.
Yeah, the little subtle scare they had right there that I missed when I was talking was, uh, when you turn to save and you pick stuff up, it'll show something flying around in the background behind the window. Yeah, another nice little thing is they said the radio is broken, but when you go out the door, the radio suddenly starts making static. They also do that with a phone later on, and they try to make it really creepy. What's that? Huh. But yeah, I actually, I actually died right here uh, the first time I played because I didn't know how to switch to switch turn my weapons on and shoot and shit, and I died. Generic handgun. Run! Uh, me trying to figure out how to shoot. X. Yeah, that's it. Take five rounds on normal to bring that thing down. <laughs> Yeah, this is where I had to turn the sound down, because as soon as you fire that first round out of the handgun, it starts buzzing really, really loud. I didn't figure out till later that when I was playing it, if you turn off the, if you unequip the handgun, the buzzing stops. I better take it with me. Yeah, that's your little early warning device for, uh... Enemies. Too bad they didn't keep that for the movie. I don't know why video game movies insist on fucking changing everything. Yeah, you have to go back down the alley that, uh... You went through before and got attacked. Fortunately, this time it doesn't. Everything doesn't go all dark. But uh, basically, you go down the alley and you find a thing that says "to school" on it. Which, yeah, well, obviously you gotta go to the school, so you gotta use a map to go to the school. But you can't because a lot of the areas are cut off, and you have to go around finding these three keys just to get to the freaking school and. You go to various locations that were also in the movie. The first one you go to is the first one they go to in the movie, which is the school. But it's actually Alessa who's leading you around. Not spoiler alert right there, but... I know I've actually never beat this game, so... I think I might, since it's being all, uh... October-y, halloween -y, uh, I'm probably going to play the game all the way through. Probably won't be. I probably won't get it done for a bit. But I also hate this fucking dogs. <laughs> they tried to make the dogs look different than Resident Evil dogs, but they failed miserably at that. They look exactly the same as Resident Evil dogs. Well, and Resident Evil dogs have more of like German ship. Not German Shepherd, but Doberman Pinscher y kind of look to him. The knife is fucking useless. Not, it's, it, it might work against the dog. But uh, it doesn't work against anything else in the game. The lead pipe that you get here uh, in a minute actually works a hell of a lot better. Yay, handgun bullets. But, uh, I think it's getting about to the end of this. If you haven't watched my, uh, getting to know me part yet, uh, feel free to watch it. I put part one up yesterday, so please feel free to watch that. Also, I'm going to be doing, like I said, I'm going to be doing scary games all month of October. 
So I think next up I'm going to be doing Silent Hill 2 for a random game of the day. And also coming up will be Super Golden Ghost for this game is fucking hard, which it is. But uh, thanks for watching. We gotta go to school now.